now that all of the hype is over for Mortal Kombat 1, the honeymoon phase, I should say, for most people, the honeymoon phase is still going on, but for me, it's completely over. So let's go ahead and dissect Mortal Kombat, shall we? While we're doing that, I'm going to slap some of my gameplay footage up here on the screen so you guys can have something fresh to watch. And don't worry, I didn't tinker with the colors or anything because I know you guys like the way the game originally looked. Now that we got that clear, let's talk about it. So Mortal Kombat out the gate is $70 for the standard edition. Any edition more than that, I believe the highest edition is like a hundred and something dollars. It's like a hundred and nine or a hundred and ten dollars. And I believe there's like a two hundred dollar edition for like Liu Kang's statue or something. You could correct me in the comments below. But we both can agree that the price is seventy dollars and up. We can agree on that. So after doing some review with the game, just kind of going every, going through everything. Now, I have not played the story mode personally because I already watched it on YouTube. So I'm not eager to play it at all. But I am possibly going to play it on the channel for you guys because I didn't watch the whole thing. Like I said, I've been falling asleep here or there or whatever. Anyway, <clears throat> so we'll start here. The game $70 right out the gate. If you are... A person that does not play online this game is not worth $70 the reason I say that is because it is let's remove online from the game completely for the sake of this example the only mode you have to play is story mode and invasions that's all you have but guess what you need the internet to play invasions to the best of my knowledge you need the internet so if you don't have the internet, you can't play Invasions. Or at least you can't get the updates or anything like that. All you have is Story Mode. Story Mode is about four, maybe five-ish hours long. Was, let's, let's just say six. Between four to six hours long. After you're done with that, what you gonna do? What are you doing after that? So the game, is my opinion, is not worth $70 because it does not offer the same value without internet that it does with internet. <clears throat> now here's what they could have done if they would have introduced conquest mode and they had an entire conquest mode with at least 50 hours of gameplay i know a lot of you probably like wait what do you mean 50 hours come on bro what i'm referring to is conquest mode being like grand theft auto online but having an offline version basically that would be warranted it would be warranted that you could run around conquest mode, do a whole bunch of crazy stuff in the offline version, meet different people, unlock little hidden stories or hidden dialogues between people. You know, like how we had back in the day. We had it on Deception. We had it on Armageddon. So they should have really introduced that mode. Then it would have been $70. Like that mode alone would have been worth 50 and the story mode would have been worth, you know, 60. Simple as that. It, that, it would have been worth the money is what I'm saying. Jesus Christ. I just have to put it into words for you guys. So, um, honestly, there is a lot of problems with this game. Now, I want to let you know this is not a bash NRS for views type video, nothing like that. Y'all know me. I'm going to speak my mind. I'm going to say what's on it. I'm going to speak the truth. When I like something, I like it. When I don't like it, I don't like it. I'm still going to speak on it. Either way, you know, so that's my whole goal. That's my whole point. They really need to do something just as the gaming industry as a whole. Selling these half-assed games, these half-assed created games, how long are we going to accept this? I really hope that gamers speak up and get heard so that that way these type of things can get handled properly. Because back in the day, before we had the internet, before DLC became a thing, before it even became a thing, they gave us full games where the replay value was incredible. Anybody remember that game called Def Jam Vendetta? Def Jam Fight for New York? Remember those games? But do you remember when they started putting the little gimmicks in the games and it ruined it? Anybody remember a game that we don't ever talk about called Def Jam Icon? Remember that game? Nobody liked that game, you know why? Because that game, you had to be a DJ and move the sticks around to blow your opponent up, which was highly effing stupid. When you start adding gimmicks to stuff, it ruins the experience across the board when it's not a good gimmick. Now, Mortal Kombat 1, the gimmick that they have is cameos. I told you guys in the beginning how I felt about cameos. 
I felt cameos shouldn't have been in the game. And if it was going to be in the game, it should be optional. Because now you've single-handedly murdered 1v1. 1v1 is completely murdered. It doesn't exist in Mortal Kombat 1. It does not. At this point in time, it does not. At the time of recording this video, it does not. Hopefully, in the future, they release a patch where we can play 1v1 without having the cameos. That would be great. But don't get me wrong. I like the cameos now. They're cool. But I told you I initially didn't in the beginning. Cameos are cool. I got my own cameo team. You know, my team, as you know, is Raiden and Striker. The name of my team is called Strike Force. And we will be adding more members to our team. You know, so we currently recruiting so we can make our Strike Force just a little bit bigger. That's what we can do. So we all know this game also was supposed to be Injustice. We knew this game is incomplete. We know that they're still working on this game as we speak. It's just so many things that are being reported. Like I've seen glitches myself where like Serena will come out and she'll get stuck. She'll just stand there. She'll just stand there. She won't do anything. You know, I've seen what what other glitches we got. We got the player one glitch where if you as player one, you will damn near never drop your combos. If you player two, you're more likely to drop your combos. I've seen that happen to a few people. They'll be like, why am I dropping my combos, man? I don't get it. I've seen that happen to a few people. But when it comes to me, it does not bother me because I'm, I'm not a combo crackhead. I don't do combos all the time. And when I do a combo, I'm spamming. I do the same combo over and over again just to get you into my little trap so I can get a free 10, 10 to 12 hit combo off of you. But other than that, I'm trolling with sweet kicks. I'm trolling with the plus flame. The, what is the plus frame glitch? It's not really a glitch. I just like calling it the Raiden Infinite glitch. So, guys, I want to make it clear. It's not a glitch. It just takes skill to do. You know, like, look at me. I'm over here trolling. This is my troll combo right here. And then I go into back two and I come out with a free 10 piece combo at that point. And I don't have to connect the whole combo. I just got to connect three things that get me get me that 10 hit that I'm looking for. You know, so my whole thing is trolling, sweet kicks and um, leg combos because it's harder for you to block and hold down than it is just for you to stand up and hold block, at least for most people. And if you're unanxious, that's why you end up like big trick over here, getting a brakes beat off of you and you just get spammed is what happens. And then I send my boy, you know, in to electrocute you after death. And then the strike team just go ahead and uppercut you into doom. So my whole point with that is this, is that um, I understand where people are coming from. Now, did they do a good job as far as introducing combos? Yes, but they may have overdone it with the combos. They probably have overdone it for a lot of people because now it's a very combo centric game. And don't get me wrong, shout out to the people who love combos. I'm so glad y'all got what y'all wanted. For the people that really love combos, shout out to y'all. But um, maybe there's too many combos. Too much of anything can always be a bad thing. For example, if you drink too much water, you can drown. Um, you eat too much food, you'll throw up. You drive too fast, you'll crash. Drive too slow, you'll crash. You get what I'm saying? You spend too much money, you go broke. You save too much money, you still gonna go broke because your money is not being spent to advance your, your uh, projected lifestyle. So to kind of get back on track here, about the game not being worth the amount of money that it is it's just not worth seventy dollars at all in my opinion it's not worth seventy dollars the gameplay is fun uh invasions mode has potential but i've been playing it and so far i'm just kind of very anxious because it's like it moves too slow for me like i'll play it don't get me wrong i'll play it. it's a little fun thing to kick back and do you know, when you chilling, you got some music blasting in the house. You got your patio door open. You got a nice little drink beside you. You bumping, you know, you bumping some new artists. You bumping that Daddy Rain or Drake or whatever it is that you may listen to. And um, next thing you know, you got Invasions mode playing. You're just chilling. But it's not Conquest mode at all. When you're playing Conquest mode, you can really get into Conquest mode. You can cut the lights off and sit there, run around. You're looking at everything. This is a goddamn puzzle game is what it is when it comes to invasion mode. You know, and then you got secret fights and stuff like that. If you lose the secret fight, you don't get the secret fight again. You got to wait until next time, which is kind of dope, you know, to a degree. But at the same time, it's like, bro, you really expect me to sit here and play this just a little bit longer, hoping to get another secret fight. 
Now, granted, I don't mind at all, but it still can give like the bruh moment, especially if you fail one of the test your might thingies, and then you got to turn around and do that all over, or whatever it is, basically. But again, fantastic game. Um, it is a, definitely a game with a crap ton of potential. The potential for Mortal Kombat 1 and the franchise is riding on Mortal Kombat 1 at this point in time. So they definitely gonna have to do something to get everything in order because once people put this game down, it's a wrap. I'm gonna just go ahead and say this here. A lot of people ain't gonna like what I'm about to say. Hell, I don't even like what I'm about to say. But I'm gonna tell you this. If they lose the support of the pro players, this game is gonna fade into the shadows and it's gonna be returned back to the hardcore players. Right now, the hardcore, uh, not the, yeah. Right now, the hardcore players are going to be the only ones that's supporting the game if the pro players leave. Mind you, NRS make a crap ton of money off the pro players. That is a fact. They send on the tournaments. They get free promo. They send them free promo. They send it to YouTubers. YouTubers promote the game. They get free ad views. They get millions of dollars in free ad revenue is what they get. So, of course, they're going to play up to let's say the, the pro player scene, but you can't leave Africa hanging like that by not having a good net code for them. I'm seeing more bad things about the game than I do good. And a lot of people are just complaining because they're like, they can't play the game because they keep getting their ass kicked, which I, I'm gonna do a separate video about that, but they pick up the controller as soon as they say fight. They get hit two times, now they're in a goddamn 22 hit combo and they done lost 65% of their health or let me break it down a little bit. They've lost about 40% of their health already within just a couple of seconds, which is understandable because there's been times where I've made one mistake and then boom, next thing you know, I'm in a 16 hit combo or whatever it is. Like, should people be punished? Yes, but to be punished with a 16 hit combo, you know, I mean, the, the most of you will probably say, get good. And you're probably right, get good. But at the same time, it's like, damn, if you punish somebody for making a mistake twice, that's the end of the round. The round is over. I'm the type of person where I would like the rounds to go on. For example, Mortal Kombat 11 did a good job at that because you would play Mortal Kombat 11 and you the matches will actually last a decent amount of time. The only thing about 11 that kind of really screwed it over is the freaking fatal blow taking so much freaking health, you know? So if they would have fixed that health issue, it would have been good. So now the average Mortal Kombat 1 match probably lasts you anywhere from, let's say, a minute, maybe a minute and 20 seconds is a Mortal Kombat match, depending on the skill level play of each person. But anyway, I want to pass this question off to you guys in the comment section below. Do you feel like this game is worth $70? And why the hell is Mercy not in the game? Mercy should be in all Mortal Kombat games. Stop drip feeding us stuff. Give us freaking Mercy. Now... Also, guys, if you want to play with me or you want to join my King of the Hill that I will be hosting, that is going to be available for members. So if you're not a member of my YouTube channel, then you need to click on videos after this go off. Go ahead on over and sign up to become a member. You can get the $5 subscription or you can get the $10 subscription is what you can get or whatever it is. If you want to be able to play some matches on me, because with me, because I will be playing with subscribers on Tuesdays, but I will hold a special session for members only where we can just kind of, you know, kind of play, chill and hang out and they'll have, you know, uh, direct access to me compared to the regular uh, viewers. So again, I'm getting things in this channel in order. I'm working on my setup. We will be going live on cam very soon. I know I've been saying that for a while, but guys, I'm a perfectionist. I need things to look really good before I launch something. That's just where I'm at with it. So continue to be patient and don't worry. The informational videos are back and you still will be getting some gameplay. I'm gonna try to get you guys at least 30 minutes of gameplay a day. I'm going to try, keyword. So I definitely want you to stick forward or stay tuned so that you don't miss out. And if you're watching this video for the first time, make sure you smash that subscribe button and turn on post notifications as this is your brand new favorite and exclusive place for daily Mortal Kombat content. You know, so uh, if you really like the video and you watched already here, please subscribe and do me that favor. Or I'm going to do you like I'm doing this Melina over here and do you so dirty to the point where you're going to quit. Now, I got this dude on lock right here because it's like you're going to catch a uppy. You're going to catch this overhead. You're going to catch this taser to the stomach by my boy. We just going to get you on up out of here. Simple as that. And hey, you might even catch a fatal. But anyway, 
I truly appreciate y'all, man. I want you to know that we're taking this channel to the next level. The goal is for us to reach 25K. So far, we're at 22K, and I really would like to get to 25K. So if you guys can help me out, please do. But this is my team you see right here on your screen, my boy Raiden and my boy Striker, and we are known as the Strike Force. So, hey, with that being said, stay tuned, guys. Appreciate you and more videos are coming this is not the last video for today so stay tuned towards the channel because i will be putting out more content that i don't want you to miss but make sure you answer that question below is the game worth 30 dollars sound off and let me go to friends we outside in public baby peaceful lucky prince if they say it's something we ain't even shaking hands pull up where the beef and now they want to change the plans reason why they want it because we shooting that they mans yeah and it's all part of the plan Why she keep on calling Cause she know I'm high demand So in love with me, I got her on command She sucked me inside the coop I say, and I'm your biggest fan Yo, she pull up whenever I land I made it to the top row You can see I'm living grand I'm in Cali with some bitches On the beach, we bring a sand Keep that 30 on the seat It's you like curry with the left hand